Hi everyone, today we're going to be colouring in this. Now this, as far as I'm concerned, is a butternut squash. Um, that's what it looks like to me anyway. Now we're going to be using our polychromos pencils. It's quite tricky the colour for this, but we're going to start with this very light colour. This is, in my set, this is called Light Flesh and it's number 132. I know these colours have changed. I'm not sure what it's called now, but it's 132. So I don't know whether you're going, you've got the same colour. You could do the whole thing in this colour to start with. It's trying to find a colour that works, looks quite right, but I think this will give us a good base. Now the butternut squash in my photo is, um, has got lines down. Most of them don't. Most of them are really smooth. The ones I buy are always really, really smooth. But as I say, this one I've got a photo of has got lines. I think I avoid buying anything that's too bumpy. It makes it really hard to peel. But uh, as you can see, I'm just doing a layer, a basic layer with no shading, shadows or any any different colours, just, just getting a layer of colour down to start with. And I've put that up across the stalk and through the whole of the squash just to get us going. Now, ow, sorry, I've got a frozen shoulder. It's tricky sometimes reaching for a colour. Cinnamon. This is number 189. I don't know how easy it is to see. There we go. And this is what we're going to start putting in our shadows and shading. Now, the squash I'm looking at has got a lot of shadow on this side and none on this side. But I think most of our fruit and veg, we've drawn it so that the light's either coming from above or on top. I think we'll do the light shining down from here, coming downwards, so from above the squash. So the light will be hitting it here. That's how I'm going to do it. I think it will look better with the other veggies so I'm thinking it might be a little bit darker under here where this top is actually thicker so it's shading this part of the stalk and I think there will be a little bit of shadow around here from the stalk on the squash but then the light's going to be the lightest here so we mustn't do so I'm going to move down to the bottom and start doing some darker areas down here I'm actually going to ignore these lines apart from just using them as a marker for me to section off what I'm colouring at the moment and we'll worry about those in a bit. We'll just get our basic colour down first. So I'm thinking about the shape because it comes out and then goes in and out. So there's going to be a sort of ridge here which catches the light as well as the ridge here. So I'm going to be aware of that when I'm colouring. So I'm making it much darker down here so that we can get a contrasting colour. This isn't quite the right colour. It's the nearest I think I'm going to get. And then I'm going to fade this up towards where I think that ridge is going to be sort of here. So just fading it up a little bit. And doing, just doing the same on each side. Nice and simple. I'm just going over it to try and get an even sort of um, colour change across the whole of the squash. So we've got that there. Um, I think we'll just go up a tad more. Just looking at it carefully and thinking about the shaping. Now this is where I want it paler so I think I'm going to start putting some colour back in around here so I've done that really faintly so I can have a look and see whether I think that looks right and I think it does so I'm going to be more confident with it now and take that up I don't think it's going to get as dark as the bit down here because that's right at the base there's a lot of shadow but there, it will be darker than this bit so I'm just gently adding layers to it um, while I increase my confidence in my decision really. That's just my think way of thinking. Like that. Hmm, just having a look in the camera and sort of sitting back and looking at my image to see whether I'm happy. 
Now these lines here, in my picture they're darker in some areas than others but um, I'm not going to worry too much about that. I think these would be fairly even because of the fact that the light light's coming from above which is a little different. So if I can find a picture where it's coming from above, uh, they're all smooth or mmm or roasted or mashed up or <coughs> do you like squash? I absolutely love it. Delicious. Okay, so we're going to think about what colour going to use for the shadow of these lines and things. So I'm thinking, I don't want to go really dark black or anything like that. Um, I think I'm going to grab this colour. Um, I'm just going to have to look up for you what it is because it's quite small. I think it is the uh, yes, it's burnt ochre. Okay, but you'll have to believe me because it's teeny weeny. I might treat myself to a new one soon. I'm just going to try and sharpen it. I find it quite painful sharpening these little eeny pencils, but I've managed it. I think that's the most painful thing. Some people I know find it painful colouring with them, but not so much so me as sharpening them. So I'm going to go over Johanna's black line and just bring the colour out slightly on this one to the right hand side to try and make it look like there's a little deep sort of indentation with shadow. What's the effect we're going for? And on this one we'll do the same thing but take the shadow out to the other side. I don't know why. It's just what my brain tells me will work. I, as I say, I've got no clue why. Now you can, might want to do it a little bit lighter in the lighter areas, darker in the darker areas, but actually I'm not worrying too much. I'm just uh, getting on with it really. This one I'm going to do the same direction as the other, so towards my left. and this one towards my right. Again, there is no rhyme or reason for this. It just feels right. Okay, now we've got this darker colour available, so I'm trying to think about whether there is anywhere else I want to apply a darker colour. I'm thinking maybe at the top here, and maybe just around here and then maybe a bit at the bottom just to make it a little bit darker but I'm being sure to blend it into the colour that's already there by doing a harder bit here and then reducing the amount of layers as I take that colour up there we go um, I'm thinking about does it need to be a little bit darker I think I'm going to go back to my cinnamon and uh, just add a little more here and there, darken up this base a bit, thinking it's maybe looking a little too pale. This is just fiddling now, you can leave yours, you don't have to fiddle around anymore and you know, sometimes the finishing touches can make a huge difference, sometimes they can just spoil it. So I'm going in with a darker layer here. And you see I've put a stripe in, now I need to blend it out, so reduce it as I go up, And but going down we can have a bit more of a stripe because that's light reflecting. There, I'm going to leave it there, if I fiddle anymore I'll probably wreck it. But there is our butternut squash and it looks delicious and I must put one on my shopping list because I love them and I haven't had one for ages. So thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed that and uh, I hope it didn't make you all crave squash. So delicious. Um, thank you so much for watching and happy colouring.